it's Barbie. I'm back. We haven't been doing Instagram lives here for a while, but I'm so excited to be back here. And the first guest that we have back with our Instagram lives is Amy. And she is an actual beauty queen. I'm so excited to be chatting with her. We've been trying to get her here on the lives for a while. So I'm just going to wait for her. Hi. 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 Sorry, I'm just trying to get this figured out. Um, That's okay. I know. I knew you were there. I could see you in there. I figure it out. It is quite simple to figure out. But you know technology. Once you get it, super simple. <laughs> but until then, sometimes it's a little bit tricky. How are you yeah. today? I'm wonderful. And thank you so much for having me on your live. This is I'm so excited. Yeah, we've been trying to coordinate for a while. We have. We have, for sure. So um, I'm really excited that you're wearing your crown because I'm very jealous that you have a good, that you, that you have I, beautiful I give crown. up my crown this next week. So I wanted every opportunity to be able to share what I do, why I do it, and that even if you have Bell's palsy or the synchinesis, that we can do amazing things and you can even win a crown. So <laughs> love it. There's, there's no limitations in life. The only limitation that we have is our own self. So Bell's okay. palsy is, is not a limitation. It's just a new part of our life and something that we can do to inspire others. So, and, and meet new people and create Absolutely. new ways to use our voice and share our story. And that's what I'm really enjoying now. And I'm sure that you found that, which we'll hear about in a second about your, your adventure, um, you know, in, in, in the pageants and such is that, when we're open to new um, ways and new possibilities, then new opportunities, you know, come to us when we when we work for them. So in yes. 2015, you were pregnant, yeah, and had the baby and got Bell's palsy, which I just can't even, <laughs> I can't even imagine. So yeah, I woke up um, December 14th, actually, the night before um, my due date. So my due date was December 15th. I was still pregnant. Um, I was massively swollen. But I noticed that my tongue kind of started going a little numb. And I just thought, you're just really swollen. You know, things sure. are weird. We're pregnant. It was my first yeah. pregnancy. Who knows? Ex oh, first pregnancy. Yeah, I was like 21 years old. And I'm just like, you know what? You never know what's going on with our bodies. Yeah. So I just, it kind of ignored it. I went home, went to sleep. We were at a friend's house, my husband and I. And I woke up to my mom waking me up. Uh, to, she was going to come visit me. And she's like, honey, what's wrong with your face? And I look in the mirror and this whole right side of my face would not move. My eye would not blink. And I was like, oh my gosh, did I just have a stroke? Mm -hmm. Like, what is this? And being 21 years old, you know, you're you don't really know medically all the things. So I immediately called my mother-in-law who was an RN and said, okay, so we need to go to the hospital because I don't know what's going on with my face. So we waited for her to get there because um, she lived right down. And that is where I didn't get the best care like my doctors weren't there like immediately um but I was told that it was Bell's palsy and that if I did not have the baby over the weekend that I would just come in Monday morning for induction uh they wouldn't give me medication because I was still pregnant so I ultimately believe that that was part of the reason why I was left with synkinesis is because I didn't get that medication within the first 72 hours and it went months and months. And then Monday I went to the hospital and I had my beautiful baby girl. So who was very healthy. I think that's the only thing that we can really hope for, uh, especially, you know, when we are not well, that our children are well. So she is now 21 years old and very healthy. Um, but during that time, I mean, it was months and months and months before I ever regained any kind of movement. And I get Botox now, but <laughs> um, I was looking for that crease in my forehead, you know, and I would like every day look in the mirror. Like, yeah, oh my gosh, my we spend so much time being... Like is eating wrinkles that you're like, please come back, please come back, please, yes, come, back. please <laughs> come back. I want my wrinkle back. Yeah. And so um, 
I was referred by one of my friends who was a chiropractor and going to chiropractic school that I needed to seek a chiropractor that, you know, sometimes, um, you know, because it runs through our body, like getting that alignment back because mm -hmm. it runs through the inner ear. Mm -hmm. At the time I did get Bell's palsy. I did have a cold sore on my right side right here. Mm -hmm. um, they say that Ramsey Hunt um, is usually just within the mouth or the ear, the mm -hmm. rash, but I did have a cold sore. So mm -hmm. I maybe, mean, yeah. Maybe it is Ramsey Hunt, mm -hmm. um, but they still ultimately called it Bell's palsy. Mm -hmm. So I went months and months uh, with no movement, no real significant change. And that's when I was diagnosed with the synchinesis. Right. Um, yeah. And I, it doesn't heal properly. Yeah. I mean, my eye would twitch and my, my cheek would jerk. And I remember my husband going like this to give me a kiss and the whole right side of my face hurt so bad. Like it was so painful mm -hmm. that when he went to do that, I literally like shrieked in pain. Mm -hmm. I was like, Oh, what are you doing? And, and he was probably like, I'm sorry. I was just trying to give you a kiss. Yeah. He's just trying to love <laughs> on you, you know? And, um, you know, I was told by my ENT doctor, there's no way that you should have pain. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you're crazy. This is painful. <laughs> like something is going on. But, um, you know, I spent many years after that being just very depressed, very, you know, in my own feelings, hating what I seen in the mirror. And years and years later, um, I found a pageant system and I was looking at different platforms on what to do. Like what is, what speaks to my heart and one of the former queens said, Amy, I think you should really do Bell's palsy. And I'm like, I don't really want to bring attention to my face. Like this has been such an insecurity. Yeah. You spend so much, so long trying to camouflage it or wear different makeup or get Botox. And now yes, telling that, I'm like, I don't want I to bring you. attention yeah. <laughs> to this. But then I realized yeah. this is me. This is how I need to inspire others. And so that's when I formed Bell's palsy strong. And it later, a couple years later, moved into a support group mm -hmm. and that is featured on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I haven't gone in all of the, the realms of, of social media with it, but, you know, as one person, it is definitely hard to control, <laughs> you know, and yeah, the, yeah, I hear you. There is a certain amount like for us, like we to create this support system without um, you know, we're not doctors. We don't have the medical advice, you yes. know, those things. And, and that's where I enjoy doing this, this type of thing where people tell their stories and then people can kind of look into things if they, if they feel, feel called yes. to. Um, um, but yeah. I do encourage everybody to check out, yeah, Amy's group. It's called Bell's Palsy Strong. Love the name <laughs> on, um, on Yeah, Facebook. and there's Bell's Palsy Strong, but the support group, I only allow people who have been affected by Bell's Palsy into the group. Um, you know, let me know if there's people who are like, oh, my herpes have been cured because that's been something I literally have spent oh, a lot yeah. of time trying to yeah. eliminate is, yeah. you know, those, those certain individuals that, you know, are definitely misleading us. Um, but I did make this my platform and I'm so thankful that I did because now I have built a community of people that know exactly what we're going through. Yeah, and, and you don't have to explain it. Any no. level of... This no, little bit of synchinesis or that little bit of synchinesis or I don't know. Uh, I just love joking around about how it's hard to eat sushi or you got to use a straw. And yes, in anything in life that, you know, whether it's Weight Watchers or AA or religion, that's what brings people together and helps healing ultimately is having a support system of people who understand. And, and that's why hearing other people's stories. So now you... You signed up to be a part of the, the pageant process. Yeah, and, and... I, I, I competed in that system for three years. And um, it just wasn't really the system for me. I transitioned into starting to become a professional makeup artist. Okay. So I started just doing makeup for them um, and just took some time off with my family and, you know, venturing out into my, my career. And I kind of had a FOMO moment when I was nominated for a Global Beauty Award. Uh, with the Global Beauty Awards for being a makeup artist. And I seen other women that were being nominated 
but they also were holding a crown. Mm -hmm. And um, I was ultimately asked, you know, if I knew anybody who was interested in this local title from a different system director. And I said, well, don't look at me. Because really, at the time, I was like, still kind of like, mm, I don't know if I want to get into this. And she goes, I'm not you need to lose weight. And I was like, Oh, okay, well, oh, just I just thought my Bell's palsy was my only problem. But thank yeah, you so I much. thought this was my deterrent. <laughs> but apparently, you know, like you can't be a size 10, 12. And you know, be looked at. So that's when I joined um, two months later, three months later, um, I ended up joining the USA, USOA program, the United States of America's program and uh, pageant system. I loved the directors. I had worked with them before uh, and the staff. Uh, my good friend was a former queen. And <clears throat> I said, okay, I'm going to do this. They're very inclusive. They're motto is empower, empowering women, inspiring others and uplifting everyone. And I, I knew that that like really just flowed right into exactly what I was doing with Bell's Palsy Strong. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> God, I should have gotten something to drink before I came in here. No worries. Yeah, no but um, <clears throat> I'm in my daughter's room, actually my youngest. But I'm seeing on here that a lot of people are saying how they had other bouts of Bell's Palsy. Well, <clears throat> I waited some time to have my second child and I too got Bell's palsy again. Oh, wow. It just, yeah, didn't, it just wasn't as bad as like that first time. Mm -hmm. Did you get the medication then the <clears throat> second time? I did because you, you know did. what? My doctor um, induced me early. So then that way we didn't have any of the, is, these issues. He was gotcha. very, very good. I switched doctors. And um, so I, I feel you guys that have had this more than once you know, it, it still lives in your body. We still have the mm -hmm. herpes zoster virus. We still have, you know, possible herpes simplex viruses. So these viruses just don't go away. They live within our bodies. So mm -hmm. believe me. Yeah. It's very rare um, for it to happen again. I think pregnancy does up um, the odds period of getting it. And then, so the pregnancy thing. So I think the most important thing for us just to keep on reminding ourselves is we need to take care of our health, make sure we take care of ourselves, our stress levels, yeah. utilizing, you know, yoga, things like that, you know, meditation to really decrease our stress because m most people who get Bell's palsy have a very high stress level. So, you know, being pregnant definitely puts that stress on our bodies. And so. a different kind of stress is the typical, typically everybody that I've been asking typically is, the stress is taking care of other people, putting other people first, doing everything, not using your voice, not standing up for yourself, not using your opinion. <clears throat> um, is that something that kind of resonates with you? I mean, I know you're pregnant. Yes, your body was under stress. We're yes. making another human. That is yes. obviously stressful. Yes. But is that something that in your life that you really found that you were maybe doing more for other people than yourself at the time? I'm still guilty of that. <laughs> I mean, I really am. I'm still guilty of that. Um, you know, I just think it's part of my personality. So, you know, it is, it that. is, it is hard for us to find that balance of making sure that we're doing things for ourselves. And of course, as women and mothers, I mean, obviously with kids, I mean, we obviously put our, put our kids first. So what I, I always just found that I was not, you know, my, I wasn't speaking up. My opinion didn't matter about, you know, what fridge we were picking out or what color, like it just, you're just kind of like, Oh, it's just easier. And those are the things that, you know, we really need to encourage others to make sure you stand up and use your voice and, and say your opinions, even if it seems really small at the time, because yes. all those little tiny things add up where you just feel like you don't have value anymore. And that's not what we want. And that's what absolutely, absolutely. in the end. Yeah. And, um, and that's where, you know, on our platforms and things that we talk to other people like yourself, I, it's my goal to just, your voice matters. It doesn't matter about whether it's, you know, what kind of dog food you're buying for your dog, like your voice and your opinion matters, make sure that you speak Absolutely. Up. So um, that that's really what led me to saying, okay, I'm going to do this. And you know, I've taken some time off of doing pageantry. How am I going to do? You know, I've coached girls, I've continued this platform, it's been a part of who I am every day, regardless of if I wore a local crown or a local sash. It didn't matter. Like, I'm like, I'm helping the people who get Bell's palsy yeah. because that is truly what matters. Yeah. Even and, if it's one or two, you know? Yeah. Well. And so, I mean, you can go through my USOA Mrs. Washington post and you can see even on my page, like the look on my face was, 
<laughs> like, oh my gosh, did I just hear my name be called as the winner? Because I didn't, not that I didn't want to win. I did want to win. Um, but it was like, oh my gosh, they seen me. They mm -hmm. seen my my goals, what I want to give the value. Them. Yeah, this, what you bring to the table. Yes, these so opportunities. Weird. And I'm like, whoa, they chose me, you know? And I was 50 or 25 pounds heavier than what I was in that other system that I ran in. So I was like, yeah, look, girls, like, mm -hmm. you can be you, you can have kids. Um, you know, I've had a hysterectomy over this last, you know, two years. I've broken my back. I've sprained my ankle. Um, right after nationals this year, I snapped my calf muscle. Oh my gosh. That was awful. So, you know, I'm just like, you know what? It doesn't matter. Like we all have health issues. We don't know what's going to happen. Go out there, tell your story, be an inspiration and live that legacy. Absolutely. And I love what you're doing. And I also encourage others that even if they don't feel that they can be on a stage or win a crown or have that platform, we can even talk to, you know, your neighbor or any, anybody else. Our mm -hmm. voice is very important. And yes, you know, Amy and myself, we enjoy being on social media and being on the stage and doing things like that. But <clears throat> everybody is different. As long as you feel like your voice is being valued and is, is important, then you're, then you're bringing your healing to yourself and, and to others. Um, yeah. So now what happens? You said you're handing down now. Obviously, there's going to be now this year's queen. Yes. So um, we have other delegates. Um, I'm in the Mrs. Division since I'm married. Uh, the United States of America uh, pageant is pretty new in relative to the pageant world. Um, and, excuse me, we have 10 delegates who are vying for my position. Uh, but this system has four um, title. So we have the teen, the miss, mm -hmm. the Ms, and then the misses. So we will be crowning four queens for Washington and then four queens for Oregon as our pageants are combined. So I live in Moses Lake, Washington, which is in central Washington. It's a town of about 30,000. I do live on the outskirts. I live on a little mini farm. And um, so, you know, I'm also very busy. Uh, but we're all going to be traveling from our respective areas down to Springfield, Oregon, and we will be crowning my successor. And oh, each fine. girl has a different platform. So this is platform based and they each have something that they are helping to bring a okay. voice to, you know, and that's something that I've been so excited about this, you know, Bell's palsy, like having Bell's palsy. Now I'm like, I don't even regret having Bell's palsy. Like, this is my character. This is what, you know, gives me who I am. And I know that's why I won the congeniality award at nationals is, you know, you have to be encouraging to all people. So I love being the voice of all of you that have had Bell's palsy or know someone that has had Bell's palsy. I'm so happy that I've had this opportunity. So to the next queen, you know, I'm excited for her to, you know, live out her legacy over this next year and to be able to continue to encourage the people within her platform and, you know, her cause to inspire others the way that I've had over the last year. Absolutely. And I'm so excited. So what I'm going to ask you to do now that we're off our calls, maybe if you have links or anything that people can kind of look into your, I mean, obviously the Facebook group will be tagged here in the, um, the caption and everything like that for people to join and asking me any questions that they may have and get involved in her, in her work. Is there, or, um, and if you send me any other links that you'd like me to include, I can, um, obviously, yes. um, we have a lot in common, so we have a lot of work to yes. do I think, together. So I think that we should be definitely do more of these, um, you know, so we can promote as much, uh, of our voice as possible. Someone our just said that they couldn't hear. And I'm just wondering if my battery on my phone, as I did not, charge um, I can phone. hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Um, so maybe there's something on that end who knows, but there will be the replay there in the um, feed, but your, your volume is, your volume is fine. Okay. Um, I'm going to plug it in too, just in case here. Yeah, um, sure. I did just notice that one of my delegates, um, for USOA has joined us, Ashley Paragon. 
so, you know, just know that, you know, it, this is a sisterhood. Uh, you know, we definitely encourage each other a hundred percent and, you know, just really getting ourselves out there, um, to love each other, no matter what, you know, love it. That's wonderful. And I love yes. that, um, that you ladies are standing together and supporting all, uh, you know, so many causes and, you know, things that deserve our, our voices out there. And especially with social media, it's so great that we have these platforms now to be able to, yeah. to do this so simply, right? I'm in my dining room, you're in your daughter's bedroom, there doesn't need to be any big news interview or things like that for us to really you know what? Get our voice this out is there my so life. And, yeah, you know, this is my life. And I would take you on a walk through my entire life and say, this is who I am. You know, I'm very transparent when it comes to that, because I think that it's very important that we express who we are and not try to hide because yeah. I wear this or this. It's yeah. not about this or this. This is just another opportunity for me to share my story and to be the voice for the people who don't feel like they can have a voice. Yeah. And that is exactly why we do this. So I love pageantry. I'm in love with the fact that I got Bell's palsy. I know not everybody can say that, but I love who I am and now what I represent and I wouldn't change it for the world. Like I would not go back and be like, Oh, okay. So if you could take the Bell's palsy away, would you No, no, I really don't. I, sorry, I'm trying to change some lighting here. Um, I really wouldn't because it is, it is definitely who I am. Me and, too. Yeah. Well, and I feel like maybe you wouldn't have necessarily sought out this journey and this adventure in the pageants if you yes. hadn't gotten Bell's palsy. I think you're saying you would have gone in another path. Um, and so you've had so much reward and the platform brought. Um, same thing for me. If I hadn't had the Bell's palsy, then I wouldn't have started Bell's palsy talk because we have something that we can um, kind of like hang our hat on or start. It's a conversation starter to be like, hey, you know what? This I have this and I'm okay. And you're going to be okay mm -hmm. too. Absolutely. And even for people who don't necessarily have Bell's palsy, like you're saying, it could be anything, right? Like it, it's yeah. all, the, we're all the same. We all have something right. that, you know, we work or, or just stresses us or it's hard or we're self-conscious about it. Or we don't feel good enough or our voice isn't good enough. Mm -hmm. But we, um, you know, we're all, we really all are in it together, regardless of we are. where we are. We are. So thank so you so I much. I encourage everybody to also look up, you know, not only the Bell's palsy strong support group, if you have Bell's palsy, please answer the questions. I will not add you unless you've answered those questions. It's just, um, it's just a requirement. Well, of you're creating a safe space for people who I have am. facial palsy. I want a safe and that's space for people. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't want bullying. I don't want people to just go on there and, you know, try to sell their stuff <laughs> you know yeah I mean we all sell something right um but yeah so there's that and then um I encourage you to also look up the USOA misswashington.com page um there is also tickets available if you're within the Oregon area Washington Idaho and would like to come I know that their tickets are still available to go to the physical pageant itself and then there are also going to be a live stream video that's and what I was going to ask. Okay, that's fantastic. There is a so link to where stream. you can you can purchase tickets to that live stream video. And uh, I think Amber was just waiting for um, Pageants Live. Uh, they coordinate all of the live video stuff for us uh, to provide that link. But there is a link on the top. There's also uh, my bio on there so you can learn a little bit more about me. Um, I have United States of or USOA Mrs. Washington. Uh, my successor will be taking over that page um, next week when I am, when I crown them. Uh, but it's a really great way to connect with women who are really trying to get out there and promote their, their platforms. But you can go on there and you can see everything that I've done over the last year. Um, I've traveled to nine different states nine or 10, something like that. So <laughs> I've been really out there doing a lot. Um, and then my page, Famous Amos 612, uh, that's been my nickname. One of my friends gave me, she'd always call me Famous Amos <laughs> or Amos. And so I, that's why I, I chose that tag. Stuck with but, you, yeah, um, for sure. I have Amy Dana and I'm also a makeup artist uh, Dana, with Dana Designs. It's a 
my own company that I started. So, you know, the so loss follow me on all of my, my avenues of social media. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your story. Uh, I'd like to start doing more of these, just like what you're doing. I just, not had to find the time so yeah, I well, let's do it I mean we can you can do them on your Facebook page and I'm <clears> happy <throat> to be your first guest I would love <laughs> whenever, to have you're ready. You. Um, whenever you're thank, ready thank you so much Barb for having you me. bet you and I can't wait to work with you more I think that once you have um you know pass on to your successor and you have you know she's taken on some responsibilities then we can do some more work together uh in the Bell's Palsy community and I would love to love to do that I'd love to work together with you Yes. So you have a wonderful day. I will post a link to this video in your Bell's Palsy Strong group. I'm a part of the group. And then that way um, people can rewatch it again. And um, let's definitely keep in touch. And um, I'm going to have to get myself a crown for our next next interview. Hey, <laughs> you might have to just join us, you know. <laughs> Maybe we'll just, have to, it'll be our uniform. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah, we're going to have to. We're going to get Bell's Palsy. That sounds Bell's great. Bell's Palsy Queens. We are Love the Bell's it. Palsy Queens. We can make our own pageant. Yes. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. We'll be in touch. And don't worry, everybody. We're going to post all the links. If I miss any links, Amy, please make sure you add them in the comments so that people can find you. Um, and we can keep the conversation going. Because that's what Amy and I are both so passionate about. Have that in common. Is just just keep your story coming. Keep your questions. Yes. Make sure we and remember we're all in this together. Love who you are. Love who you are. There's, you know, a reason for everything. And this has now, I mean, I just really encourage you to you know, dive into the fact that yes, you have Bell's palsy. Yes, half of your face is paralyzed. Beautiful people get it. Look at Justin Bieber. <laughs> Look at Angelina Jolie, George yeah. Clooney, Sylvester Stallone. I mean, the list goes on, you guys. And don't think that this is the end of who you are. This is only the beginning. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. We'll be in touch. Thank you, Thank you everybody, Thank you. for joining us. Talk to you soon.